Stoneboy has had a one-on-one -on -one interview with MC Portfolio when he went to Kumase and Stoneboy has taken the time to explain certain things he said or he tweeted when he, the article on the Grammy came about the hip life and the article that was written by Nana Kodumula about the, the hip life on the Grammy page. Now I have watched the interview, the entire interview like five times and I understand certain confusions that we have in the system now because of that article now let's watch this video you can watch the full interview later i can't show that because of copyrights but i've seen certain things and i want us to talk about it this is still with the talkative my name is still Nipa. do subscribe to the channel and let's get into it do you still stand by it that there is no way we can write the hip life history and sound of ghana and omit a page of from um, i mean a stone boy page in that book so the first confusion that I was hoping that would be corrected was what he said, that a book on Grammy, this is on hip life or Ghana music and on Grammy. This is not about, it's, a, it's not a book. It, this is actually an article that was written by somebody and then sent to Grammy and then they liked it and it was published. And mind you, if it were a book, there were there would have been so many names. In fact, so many names would have made its, its way into, into this particular article if it were a book. The number of words you can use for an article it's not the same you can use for a book so i understand why certain names were left out i mean this was the first stop is not the only person who has spoken about this article being half dosed and we agree it is half dosed certain mistakes were in it certain names that were supposed to be omitted but certain names were omitted because it is not a book but an article let's continue watching aiming to, to capture, capture the true image of the state of the ghana sound thank Ghanaian you sound. i don't know quite big enough Aiming to capture the true image. Okay, that on, 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 on the side. Right. I'm not against any name that would have been mentioned. And I stand on fact. Read where I said that yes. the name Stoneboy cannot be omitted mm -hmm. when it comes to the true image of what? The state yeah, of the Ghanaian sound. Now, here's where I see another confusion. This article was not to capture the image of Ghana music in entirety. It was to capture the image of hip life music, which is a subset of ghana music so many songs and so many genres in ghana music but this is like one out of so many that it was being captured let's continue to, to, to high to, life hey, to hip life to hip life and okay. the era it okay. was very emphatic about an era but it mentioned some other artists who were not in that era uh, unless of course you educate us on that. which is black sheriff our own brother and king paluta Okay, so uh, okay, and then he goes on this morning to say Black right. Sheriff ranks as one of the Ghanaian artists essential to Ghanaian hip life. Look, that's what's on the on the portal. Have you yes. seen this? Mm -hmm. How do you explain that? Here is where the confusion is. So talking about um, what, what was Black Sheriff in that era, the article was not about an era or the article of hip life, this hip life article was not based in just one era. It was actually about different eras. Now it started from the Ambule Reggie era and then it trickled down uh, to the, to what do we call the tiny, all those eras or Bradford tiny era. And then it finally came to the Black Sheriff and then it came to the Kempaluta. So the mistake, I think something that might have caused a bit of confusion but for stone boy is the fact that he thought this thing was based in a certain era which he might think will then remove names like um, black cherry from it it wasn't just based in that era so the article is not an era based it is several eras so to me i look at it as the journey of hip life from one era into another era you get it i definitely draw inspiration i'm a son of uh, you know hip life till today but it doesn't change the fact that the article wants to capture the Ghanaian, the Ghanaian sound. The article is capturing the state of Ghanaian sound, disguising under hip life somehow. And we know better. We cannot sit here for, to have our sound captured, whereby it takes it all the way and comes back to... I'm, I'm making my points from there. To Yes, now Stoneboy is saying that this, the thing was under the guise of hip life but was trying to capture the Ghanaian sound. I, I don't think Stoneboy has fit in Ghanaians and the way we love him and how we cherish his contribution and his legendary status to the Ghanaian music. Stoneboy, so do you really think that if this article was capturing Ghanaian sound under the guise of hip life, now can we won't fight for your name in a place since there's such an article like come on look at how far you've achieved like, this guy was calling you an institution and nobody will, will say that is wrong because stoneboy name has become an institution and besides if this article was capturing Ghanaian sound under the guise of hip life do you think that it will only be stoneboy you'll be fighting for 
be fighting for a botella whose name is not in it. Nanam Pedu, whose name is not in it. But all these people, their names are not in it, and we are quiet, including yours, because it is not about Ghanaian sound, but about hip life, which Nanam Pedu was not a part of, which um what do we call a botella was not a part of you, you get it so the reason why we have been quiet and you're saying that it is under the guys and but we are we are saying no, it's not under the guys because the article says 10 artists essential to hip life we've been quiet because we know that it has been narrowed down to a certain tunnel when it comes to that funnel to sheriff our brother and then Kim paluta i want to ask what are their roles in hip life they have identified their, themselves are they hip life artists they, they identify themselves as such. Have they said they are hip life artists? For Cap Paluta, I can stick my neck out for him. I, I have heard um, Blacko say he does her life and trap. I don't know, something like uh, something of that sort. Good. Stoneboy asked a very important question. So what is Black Sheriff and Kim Paluta's role with hip life, if you are talking about it? Because according to him, Black Sheriff has never claimed hip life. Neither has um, Kim Paluta. And the truth is very simple. At the just ended VGM, the one that Stoneboy, you are the artist of the year of, and they just ended black sheriff was named the hip-hop hip life artist of the year with that that particular award and then that same award the one that um, what's his name kimpaluta won the new artist of the year he was he actually had hip life hip-hop song of the year he won that so to me i think that would be the reason why the writer actually linked them to the hip life the journey of hip life and when it comes to this particular era as we are seeing hip life even though they might not have been claiming the hip life to themselves but an award that you recognize its authenticity and it's being the power on this particular land says that these people are linked to the hip life some way somehow even though they don't claim it and which is why to me i think their names were in it in it because the award scheme you recognize recognizes that these artists no matter what they say they are certain technicalities when we look at it and we listen to the sounds they are linked to the hip life sound and they have won awards for it which obviously Good. traces source from <laughs> The indigenous genre. So, right. do I not trace my sources also from the hip life? Okay, inspiration? so let me read this out real quick. Maybe you to know. give you a and I'm, I'm coming, of I'm the coming. Uh -huh. And then it ends up by summarizing it up. It goes head and comes down. Right. Summarizes it up with that's an artist of the year. Um, um, Kim Paltz is a new artist of the year. Right. And mentions a previous artist of the year. So, believe you me, I know better in this industry. Right. I speak less. I need to tell you straight. Right. This is the vibe. And out of all the list mentioned, Stoneboy is one of the ones who have come closest to the Grammys a, a many times. Yes, so what will be the what will be the curse or the harm here if that writer finds a way to acknowledge our current artist of the year so that that still continues to represent a certain pie, a certain piece? And then he said the new artist of the year was mentioned, which is the Kimpaluta and the artist of the, the previous artist of the year. And I'm saying that he said he was skipped. He could have, what would they have done? What harm would have come if he, he just mentioned the artist, the current artist of the year? But the, as I said, the new artist of the year, the previous artist of the year, they were both linked to the hip life. Stone Boy paid, even the awards scheme, even if you are going with the Ghana Music Awards, has never been linked to hip life. So where was he, the writer, going to? How was he going to link it to the hip life article he was writing? To say, to try to coin it in a certain way. Then what is Samini doing in there if their style is contemporary? What is Shatter doing in there if their style is contemporary? What is Sonny Bali doing in there if their style is contemporary? Is my style not contemporary enough to be mentioned as even the current artist of the year? Are we writing in the past? Are we? I'm confused. There's a lot of questions I want to ask and I want to know also. Now, the thing about Samini and Shata being in there, I think this, uh, this part has actually been explained so many times that these people, the Bandana Batman era, some of their earliest hits were, were hip life and it has been tied to a certain era or transitional phase of hip life where they were also trying to do their own thing, which was why they got those honorable mentions in it. But as I said, if we were supposed to mention all the names that actually got their influences or got their sources and their traces from um, from the hip life era then it will come on and even come on to kufi kinata so if we were talking about probably hip life in this chatawale samini stone boy era near you would do man ebeya but in that era how could we have put in fact i agree with you that this one was half dosed because there were more names that should have been there that should have been there that were not there but that names did not include stone boy this is the vibe 
And out of all the list mentioned, Stoneboy is one of the ones who have come closest to the Grammys a, a many times. Yes, so what will be the what will be the curse or the harm here if that writer finds a way to acknowledge our current artist of the year so that that still continues to represent a certain pie, a certain piece? Exactly. So if this article was not about hip life and it was about Ghana music or anybody that has been closest to the Grammy, I don't think your omission alone would have been what would have been upsetting us. But Rocky Dawoni, because as far as we know, you have been close to the Grammy, but Rocky Dawoni has been nominated too by the Grammy. So imagine if this article was to capture the entire sound of all the Ghanaian music, as you say it is, and they've left Rocky Dawoni out. How do you think we would have felt? We were just talking about it. But Rocky Dawoni is quiet we are also quiet about the exemption of rocky dawuni because this is about hip life and not the entirety of ghana sound so i want to say that if you want to be acknowledged because artists of the year and all of that where exactly in this article would you have put yourself i think that's the question i've been wanting to ask which part of the article would you have put yourself and how would you have linked that to the title hip life more right up or no no i am here at this time like you said as an institution a young institution at that i have to lend my voice to stuff that will be meaningful tomorrow if not now and this part i agree 100 with stoneboy i am glad he spoke up he didn't understand something and he says he doesn't care if you agree with him or not or disagree with him all you want but i am glad he spoke up because this conversation might not matter to us now but probably in the next 10 five years as he said it might matter and i'm glad he spoke about it and if more artists were speaking out about certain things that matters to them today probably a lot of things would have been corrected and we wouldn't be here having this back and forth so i am glad he did this and i think this was some of the discrepancies i saw or have heard and i think i wanted to just talk about it and also share the facts that i had and so this has what has been going on going the entire interview was an interesting one big shout outs to portfolio yeah he has got some blockings on the side for this article but uh, for this particular interview but uh, we are here for the fun of it so this has been t with the talker tip do subscribe to the channel press the bell icon and if there's anything you have to do do it now has